Hello, welcome. What I want to do here is I want to show you how I can create a route in Strava, which can then sync immediately to your Garmin watch or your Garmin bike head unit. I should point out that I am a subscriber to Strava, which means I pay for it. That does give you some extra features. And that one of those is the ability to create routes that you can then sync directly to a Garmin device. So firstly, this is my this is my dashboard. So this is this is Julian C here. Uh, it's Monday and it's Monday morning. It's a rest morning, so I haven't run. I am currently at 520 miles out of my self-determined target of 1,000 miles for the year, so I'm a little bit behind where I should be on cycling. Uh, same thing, I haven't done anything so far this week, but I'm on 1,631 miles out of 2,500 for the year. So I am slightly ahead of my target for the year. And then here on swimming, well, okay, all right, I've done less than 7,000 yards out of 100,000. I'm way behind. There is a story behind that, but that's not really for this uh, for this video. So if I come up to the top here and I'm going to go to explore, we're going to go here to create a route. In my case, I don't live in Cleveland anymore. I haven't done for a few years, but I used to do an awful lot of working out in Cleveland and Strava still takes me to, to Cleveland every time I come in. If you don't know Cleveland, there is an awesome metro park system, which kind of starts here um, through Rocky River, Fairview, all the way down here through Berea, um, right through then to Rexville, and then it continues into Peninsula and some other areas. But if you want to be doing 100 plus mile cycle rides, or long runs or just some hiking it's a phenomenal place to to do that to sort of thing and to train i'm going to focus on this area here this is some mountain bike tracks which we're just going to make up a fictitious run route so just to come on the the routing preferences i'm going to do a run i could do a ride or i could do a hike i'm going to use here the global heat map this simply means that where you see these darker blue lines that's more people are actually using that route to run on and if there is no line at all very few people are actually running on that who are also using Strava you can see here on Valley Parkway which is a very very popular running route always coming across runners no matter what time of the year it is and then you see here in these mountain bike trails in Royal View you can see quite a bit of running going on as well I can also turn on here my personal heat map. I don't think I ever ran around Royal View. No, I didn't. But you can see I did a lot of running along Valley Parkway here. This was part of Ironman training over many, many years. Okay, I'm going to start a route. And as it says here, I'm going to click to start route. So I'm going to click and start it here. That's my starting point. Now, it will follow some logic, okay? So you don't need to trace along this route. I can just literally come down to, say, somewhere like here and click on it and it will match me up with that route. It only really becomes a problem if you come into a decision point like this and you've got to make sure you pick the right one. If you're doing this on the Strava app on a cell phone, you can just literally do this with your finger. You can, you can trace roughly along the route that you're creating with your finger and it will still know enough to be able to put you onto that path. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go over to this path, I'm going to cross over Royal View Road. Now I can see down here, look, look at the bottom, okay? It's currently at 6.7 miles or thereabouts. I'm going to click end here, and there we go. So now we're at 6.8 miles, still 466 feet of elevation. Now if I now save this route, Royal View test route let's just call it that okay because it's one of my routes and because i'm a subscriber to strava as i save this it's going to immediately link it to garmin connect which means it's very easy for then to, to then sync to my watch this is the route here this is the elevation math there are three segments that i'll be doing if i was to do this run royal view um, yellow to sugar bush and if you create a segment you can name it whatever you want within reason there's an incentive to create your own segments so now i'm going to go into my watch and i'm going to go into activities and then run and then i'm going to hold the three dot button here go down to navigation and then down to courses and then these are all the courses that are on my watch right now and here we go royal view test route so if I select that and it will load it up. So what that will do is that will give me, uh, to some extent, turn by turn directions. It will beep and it will cause a vibration on my wrist because I've set it up to vibrate on my wrist to let me know when I'm coming up to a turn point. And then it will tell me which direction I need to go into to make that turn. So you can rely on this. I've done this for hiking with all trails and I did a short video on all trails and the Phoenix 7X. 
a short while ago if you want to check that one out. But this is another way to do it for Strava because usually if I'm doing cycling or running routes in unfamiliar areas or I just want to find a route I didn't know or just go a different route around an area I do know, then I use Strava routes frequently. But this is how quick and easy it is to set up. Anyhow, I hope this is useful. Uh, please like and subscribe if so and look forward to seeing you in the next video.